should be able to demonstrate that they can split squat before they bring their elevator to them. Simple. If they can't do this, then we obviously cannot throw their back foot up on the bench and get them to do that. I think it is okay, again, and I'm, I'm jump, I keep jumping forward to the football guys. If we get new football guys come in, I don't have a problem with just checking and saying, okay, can they do this? You know, can they get 10 reps each side? But I'm amazed at the number of people that do this. I just can't believe it. Because to me it seems, you know, again, we talk about the idea of you know, where are your arms, where you're jumping. It doesn't make any sense to me that my knee would land under my hip or in front of my hip. But for some reason, for a lot of these kids, and I don't know whether it's because they're not flexible, or they're not comfortable, or we have not emphasized the point well enough to them, there's a lot of that. Whether or not we had talked about this with everybody else around, this idea of teaching from the bottom up. I think when we go to teach, Rear foot elevated split squat, we should absolutely positively teach from the bottom up, which means everybody should have to be here, up, up, up. Because that forces them to learn the bottom position. They have no choice except to learn the bottom position. And where we're having trouble is them, excuse me, being comfortable in the bottom position. That's where you see, you know, you see this, you know, again, you know, the, the kids that are trying to, I mean, I didn't, it's so uncomfortable for me to try to get in the position that they're in, that they feel better. But, you know, somehow they do. You know, with sort of looking at their femur. And I said, I can't even fathom how some of the kids, some of the kids actually manage to get their knee ahead of their head. Which, to me, is completely unimaginable. There, if we're looking, their knee, if my hip joint is here, my knee should be behind my hip joint slightly. You know, we don't need super stress position. You don't want that because you're probably going to get some interior capsule problems, but we want to make sure when they're hitting that their knee is in the back of their hip and that they can drive themselves up from that position. Again, I would not have a problem, and I'm starting to think probably the best way to progress that exercise is this way. Put them in this situation, because now here, can I get in this position? If I can't get in this position, I don't belong in this position. You know what I mean? If I can't pick up dumbbells, hold my core in the right position, and then drive myself up from that bottom position, you know, so we may need to, to rethink the bar in the back position, particularly with people either with beginners or with people who are struggling to be correctly in position. And you're cool with uh, round up or split squats. Yeah, ground up. I think, I think bottom up is a better way to teach. In all honesty, I think and that wasn't my idea, that was this guy Brad Kazmarski's idea to write a blog on Scrum Coach. I had never even thought about it. But when I saw it, I immediately thought, that's a pretty good idea. Because it forces people, you know, you sort of, it forces them to, to show you their mistake. Really glaring, okay, you know, if they're showing you, I can't do this, then we know we're not ready to progress. If someone looks at you and says, I can't, you know, I need two pads to be able to do that. Okay, you, you know. That person's not ready to load. And we don't want to load, we don't want to be looking at them and saying, okay, we can load them with two pads. We want to be thinking, I gotta get them past that point where they need that secondary pad. And again, if you have somebody who's particularly short, use a mat as opposed to a pad. Try to make it, you know, lower. Don't give them the advantage. You know, for some of the shorter kids, with this pad, they end up looking like they're way too high. Also, with some of the kids that are too short, they may do better with a 12-inch box on the bench, if they really don't, you've got like, you know, five hours, you know. But what changes with that? Is, is the stretch? amount of stretch. Okay. So, you know, I mean, the higher the bench is, like for me, at my height, this is very, very comfortable in terms of the relationship sort of with my hip to the bench. But with some of these kids, like if you take like a Ryan Forbes or something like that, who's shorter, his hip might be down here somewhere, which means he's really got a big time stretch going on in that leg and they make it difficult slash uncomfortable for him to get down there. And he might be better if we slide a 12-inch box on the day. And that's where you just got to think through sort of the progression, regression, looking at these kids and saying, okay, will this look better? And say, okay, you know, force him here so that we give him some reinforcement to be able to hold his trunk position better and not allow him to, to wiggle himself out, which is, you know, with a kid like that, 
And you just can see him, he's kind of like Gumby, you know, like stuff just going all over the place, you know, it's his hip, it's his back, it's his you know, straps. If we can put him in some extension and then put him on the bottom and make him work up. To force him to do this. But I can hopefully lock him into extension, give him a situation where he understands kinesthetically, I don't want your knee to go forward. Okay, I can say to him, I don't want your knee to go forward, but if I don't block him that way, or if I don't block him this way, he probably doesn't understand what I mean. So if I put him here and say, I don't want your knee to go forward, you know, I don't want your knee to, once your knee comes to the bench, you've got to get that back knee down. We've got to be thinking of some method, kinesthetically, to get that awareness up from him so that he can do, he can repeat what we're trying to get him to do. Does that make sense? Sorry.